women can have a really big opportunity to excel and advance is to start taking some of those chances and asking for meetings, asking for the mentorship, asking to be a part of conversations. And look, we're not always going to hear yes. It could be potentially awkward, but that's one of the biggest, I think, gaps is, is giving women the opportunity to connect with other really strong women and men in business and learn and learn from one another because men, I think men bring a different skill set to business than women. And if we can start learning and collaborating together, holy cow, we're going to be so much better, so much better off. Right. Now let's talk about the flip side. Talking about men, is there any relationship lessons uh, men can learn from women? Oh my goodness gracious. I, I believe that there are a lot, a lot of really, um, a lot of lessons. So there's a really relevant one. And I, I have, a, I'm really fortunate that I have relationships with a lot of other strong women. And I was reconnecting with a study group of mine. And, and this was a study group that I was a part of in my, my corporate career. And we've stayed in touch and we've supported one another. And there was a, a woman in my study group who I admire. And I think she is incredibly fierce. I mean, she is incredibly fierce. She is in a very uh, high level leadership role at the organization. And she had a situation where she switched roles and it really impacted her confidence. And she shared with me that it, it took a while. It took a while for her to get back to her confident self. And when she shared this with one of her male mentors, he was surprised. So what I want to share to any of the men that are listening to this episode who are leading women is to recognize that there is this period of time. So if, if women, they take on a position or they take on an initiative or they try to do something new and it doesn't go well, there's this period of time, almost a period of mourning that some women need to go through to regain their confidence and regrow their confidence. So I think one of the things that a leader could do is to help us expedite the growth of confidence, help us minimize the amount of time it takes where we're beating ourselves up, we're ruminating, we're doubting ourselves. So I really, I really want um, your, the men who are listening to this episode to recognize the ways that women think are so different than the ways that men think and, and being able to have conversations around what we're thinking, how that made us feel can really help us work through some of those self-doubts. Right. Thank you so much, Kristin Burke, for your incredible insights on the topic of discussion today. Kristin, what is one major entrepreneurship issues that you've had to help a client of yours deal with in overcome? The biggest issue that I'm working through right now is where to spend my energy and my effort. I am, I am a typical entrepreneur. It's like shiny object. I got a new idea. I got a new program. I want to do this. I want to do that. And one of the things that I am learning is that as I expand my focus, I limit my innovation. So one of the biggest challenges for me currently right now, as I go into business planning is taking a look at all the services I offer, all the programs I've created over the last two years and get laser focus on the ones that drive revenue, the ones that give me energy, the ones that are going to allow me to make a massive impact and, and really get focus on the few that I'm going to offer in the new year. Great, great. So do you have any projects you have in the pipeline? I do have a project in the pipeline. And this is technically a project that I started this year. I partnered with two other coaches and we created the Honor Your Ambition Mastermind. So the three of us together have a collective 40 plus years in leadership development and coaching and women in leadership. And so we decided to combine forces and create a mastermind that is going to teach business acumen so more women can feel confident and take courageous action to grow their businesses or start businesses. And 
provide growth groups where women can come together in small groups and truly brainstorm, mastermind, and learn from one another. So we created that Honor Your Ambition Mastermind this year, and we are rethinking the format for the new year, and we're really excited to launch the new format of the Honor Your Ambition Mastermind and to allow more women to become a part of this community so they can grow themselves and grow their businesses. Right. I wish you best of luck in the project. Christine, do you have Thank any you. passion word you'd like to share with my audience? Uh, I'm sorry, can you, will you repeat do that you final a, question? Sure. Do you have any passion words you'd like to share with my audience? I would encourage your audience to focus on their wins because a lot of times as women, we focus far too often on what didn't go well, what we didn't get right. So have a practice where you focus on your wins. That's going to help you build confidence. You make note of the lessons that you learned that's going to help you embrace courage and fear, and you identify the priorities for your goals because so often we can get caught up in busy work or reactive work, and we're not taking those steps to really make progress towards our goals. So weekly wins, lessons learned, priorities for next week. I call that the Friday ritual. I put reminders up on Instagram every Friday to conduct your Friday ritual because I believe so much in this practice and how it can help you grow a very successful business. Right. Christine, we love to have your website or your social media platforms. You can find me at kristenburke.com and that's Kristen with two I's, K R I S. T-I-N-B-U-R-K-E dot com. And then I am active on Instagram at meet Kristen Burke. Great. Thank you once again, Kristen Burke, for your time on today's show. I really had a really, really great time listening to your expert insight, especially on the subject, the topic of goal achievement. I can only wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors, right? Thank you for the opportunity to share my passion around setting and achieving goals. And I had a great time connecting with you today. Yeah, I had a great time also. Thanks for joining me on the show today, right? If you want to catch up with any of my missed episodes, just go online and search for Live Well YouTube and Mobile Steven on any podcast distribution platforms and you have a worthwhile listening experience. I need you to stay safe always with all my love. I talk to you soon. If you're thinking about